Morning everyone, welcome back to Nat's Knackers Yard. I'll be Nat, this will be my Knackers Yard. Uh, I'm aware I've been mumbling a fair amount recently. I've had all sorts of dramas with my uh, audio setup, but um, I think I've sorted it. I'm just going to do this one handheld, frankly. Um, on Tango, Tango is back to about as complete as he has ever been. Um, uh, and looking quite good. The only bits that I haven't put on are the side pieces, because... And down there, still stripping. Yeah, fine. But this is how we look. Now, I think he looks quite mean. Um, still a shed load to do. An absolute shed load to do. Sorry, a bit distracted there. Um, so I put the side casings back on just more than anything else so I don't lose them. The bike is back about as complete as it gets uh, for the moment. Um, for the simple reason that I've had a, a couple of weeks off work, um, uh, I've got a lot done, um, but I start a new job next week, so there's going to be a lot less time on bikes, so um, I wanted to put it back together while I remembered how to put it back together and before I lost bits. Um, but we've got a running bike, um, it sounds so much better now, it's a lot more sealed up, I've sealed up the extra hole that I found in the downpipes, um, I think I am just going to buy replacement ones I have spotted a couple of ones going for decent prices um, but we'll see how we get on um, the exhaust and headers are going to have to come off again anyway because I need to sort out the bolt I'm not entirely sure I'm going to be able to get you in to see but uh, it is that is the offending bugger um, and I can't talk. you can see at the top where it meets the actual head it's starting to pull out where I'm putting more torque on it to try and uh, to try and seal it off um, which is a bit annoying but phew, so be it these things happen don't they so it's gonna have to be uh, coolant out well water out uh, pull it back uh, I've ordered the heli coil for I can actually see the plate where are we the plate isn't at the right angle it's um it's not sealing so um yeah have another attempt at that so aside from sorting out that stud um mud guards just placed on i don't know what this is looks like it's had a magnifying glass burn or something or a bag and <laughs> left, left a cigarette <laughs> burning on there my god interesting um yeah so Mud guards just tagged on. Headlights is such a bugger's muddle. Um, I, I quite like the double headlamp look, but it does make it more complicated. So I think I'm going to go for a, just a simple one, decent size one at the front. I've ordered new indicators just to match up, but I need to make my way through the head. Now, as far as the steering is concerned, I clipped the last one. I've forgotten I'd clipped the last one. Um, but the issue that I've got is if I clip it, I lose the speedo. Um, now I don't, I'm not overly enamoured with the speedo anyway, but I'm not sure. Uh, I have already chucked some paint on the on the other one. It's looking okay. Um, so it's whether or not I go for the full setup or just go for clips. I'm not sure yet. Um, uh, easy enough to just block up the two holes on there. I've got some nice big stoppers to do exactly that if that's what I choose to do in the end, but I'm not sure what I'm doing with the front end as yet. Um, tank's still got vinegar in it. Um, I'm going to swill that out today. I uh, had a chat with Charlie as to what to do next and uh, his solution was rinse it out with water and then dry it immediately um, uh, you know, with a hairdryer, come blower, come whatever. Um, and I think that's what I'm going to go for probably today actually um, I've got the back plate in uh, I have painted it black um, I might need to do some jiggery pokery with it because I can't get to one of the bolts which is fucking irritating I'm entirely sure how I've managed to do that but you know that looks cool uh, um, I've ordered the uh, 
a number plate hanger uh, so be looking at something like that I don't like them on the sides um, so I might overhang it across out um, the plate hanger that I've ordered uh, does come with a, a light on the top you know a, a number plate lighter but I've actually uh, ordered a brake light to go on top of that as well so as much as I keep these because it fills a gap uh, I'm not going to rely on them I may get a hugger I don't know um, I'm not sure as yet as to what I'm going to do with it but um, I think we're getting there like I say I've pulled it back together more so I don't lose things than anything else um, but um, but we shall see um, looking at some of the more aesthetic stuff I am going to go orange on it a really bright orange uh, I think so orange mug guard orange tank maybe some well yeah some orange accenting on the engine I probably then need something orangey at the back now I'm drawn into questions on exhausts um, I like that one it sounds good but it means that I need all of this caggage to carry it um, whereas I'm tempted to get one of the small slash pipes and just hang it off which means that I can then just get rid of all of this um, chasing um, which just clean up the back end I think rather than it just looks a bit cluttered and clustered and even with that stumpy exhaust it is overhanging the back of the bike which um, I'm not a huge fan of um, uh, I don't know what do you think people give me some give me some options uh, give me some suggestions right so there we are it's not a pause on tango I, I am gonna have to slow down um, I didn't realize I can still see the writing on the fuel pump there um, that'll annoy me um, yeah it is just going to be a more a more steady state I am quite ahead on my uploads uh, and I have just been staging them through rather than blurting them out every day because um, it's just too much for people to follow I think but yeah there we go Tango's back in one piece I've just got to now do something with the pieces <laughs> Cheers all, thanks for watching. Any suggestions, please let me know. Uh, give, me, give me some hints, give me some advice, uh, give me some views. Um, I suppose the biggest one out of the lot at the moment is the handlebars in the front end. Do I go for a clip? Um, it then, I then start hitting a lot of modifications on a bike, which makes insurance quite tricky, um, which is one of the one of the downsides of doing this sort of piece is the UK insurance rules, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, but we'll see. I think there's, you know, there's. We're getting there on what's turning into a rather cool bike. I think. Yeah, I like it a lot. Cheers all. I'll catch you later. Ta -da. <laughs>